schools will not reopen the rest of the school year. The most cherished of Wisconsin institutions changed overnight when COVID-19 forced a lockdown. Wow, a year like no other. Wisconsin Superintendent of Public Instruction says she's proud of how educators adapted with virtual classes. It wasn't just the educational system, it was all of our systems that were disrupted. But it also elevated the importance of education, didn't it? Many students struggled with the virtual switch. A 12 News investigation found districts reporting higher failure rates. Is virtual learning, you think, here to stay? Or did this show the value of in-person instruction? So there's something to be said about coming together in a school and the skills that kids learn. And they learn from each other. They learn from the instructors. They learn how to work and exist with other people. Those things are missing when you're at home. The state superintendent tells me she's been in weekly contact with MPS about their plan to return to in-person learning just approved this week. Progress is being made. Um, everybody's challenges are different. A smaller district had, might have fewer challenges than a larger Milwaukee has. But I, I'm pleased that there's movement and kids are being brought back. Still, she says the way educators adapted has helped schools reimagine what education could look like. I'm hoping with all of those opportunities that we've been given and that we've found that really impact education in a positive way, we'll keep those things and we'll continue to innovate. In Milwaukee, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. Stanford Taylor is retiring in July after more than 40 years in education. The candidates vying to replace her are on the April 6th ballot.